Hello everyone, my name is Chris Lane Jones and welcome to Convert a Bootstrap website into WordPress Part 2. Now you may be asking what made, made my decision to make another video and to be honest, I could have gone more in depth for what I did and I also got caught out for not going in depth enough. Uh, Shuffle, Shuffle Freakable a month ago said, to be honest, I really didn't learn from this video. I would love to see how I can convert my HTML to WordPress. That's what I expected from your um, t video title anyways. However, one more question. What editor do you use? It looks very good. Now I'll admit, the first part I could have done better uh, uh, going through the actual code and showing it, which is what I'm not going to do today. I did mention, however, what editor I used. Um, I'm going to show you that now. I use the editor called Atom. You can go to Atom. Right, let's see. I did not have the atom.io and I'll put that in the notes as well. So that's it. So now I'm going to get more into my website and how um, I built this um, and how to go from, well more so, how to go from HTML to WordPress. I'm going to show you that now. Um, so what you need to do is go to your dashboard. Like I said, you first need, um, the last video I talked about how you need Simon Padbury's um, bootstrap thing. Three, you need to go to this site and you need to download it to get the theme. And also, it would be helpful, but you can make your own child theme with plugins, but he also has a child that you can use if you just don't feel like doing that. I don't know, that's a learning curve. You can also download his child theme. Because in mine, you can see that I have both themes. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. I have the child and I have this here. Now how I did most of it, I did most of it in the editor. See, how you do it, you want to put it into each part of uh, the WordPress site. See, like, here's header PHP. I put the parts from my site that are part of the header. Um, this part here, my name, and this part, and actually, this navigation bar, even though it's down here, it is actually part of the header. Um, and i show you why I did that. Um, you go here. Um, this part has the icon bar if you're um, on mobile. It's that little hamburger menu. And you kind of put it in here. Some of this was all right here. And he, I think Simon Padbury has a, does a good job of showing you exactly where it should go. Like this eye is this Linux thing here, this guy here, and I put the word welcome, and then the nav bar, the nav bar is created by um, the menu. So I have home about me, contact me, and web dev blog. So that's how these are made. Now this little things I had in the CSS, um, I did the, what's called content CSS. You can go back into the CSS and add these little icons. That's how I add it. Uh, you're probably familiar. My fonts are obviously from Font Awesome. Pretty, I think it's pretty obvious. So um, about that, if you're very familiar with Font Awesome. So that's how I get the menu structure in there. And let's see. go back to the editor. The footer. I don't have much in the footer. And so I have all rights preserved. So since this is in the header, the only thing I really have in the footer is this part, my copyright statement. And in the majority, I just put it in here. I know I could have put it in the page, but I had some issues and I really needed to get this out the door because I had another project to work on. And like I said, I work full time. And so I put my, you leave this here, homepage like so. And then you just start writing in here. You, this is just bootstrap here. All this. The about me, education, that's all on my site. So that would be like. Let's see. So the year, okay, the years, the years are here. These. And just kept on, put it in here. 
I'm just going to go through this because this is really just the bootstrap part of the site. That's all this part here. I have a couple of, I'm just going to skip through this part. All this, none of this is on PHP until the very bottom, I believe. It's there. Includes footer. So you'll see when you go to put this together, stuff like this will be there. And you won't have to touch it. You just know it includes the copyright statement. So that's basically how I put my site together. And there is one, I guess, for Navbar here. I don't know if I even use this at all. I didn't. I didn't use this at all. Now there's one thing I'd really like to note, and I had a lot of problems with this. Um, and even commented, I cannot use this blog, unfortunately. And um, Simon Padbury, I've even written an issue to him saying that the post template format, if you try to have a different one like this and this, it will not work. It will just, if you have this first and you have the second, and then you put the second one in, it will be this, and this quote will disappear. Basically, it's a big error. But what he has been really pushing, he's left this because Bootstrap 4 is out. And that's, so really, in all honesty, I would say to just go right here and go to the Bootstrap 4 starting theme and use this one, and don't even use the Bootstrap 3 um, theme. Because he's put, I mean, he's been really pushing this one. This is the, his main, um, bread and butter right here. So that's basically how I did it. Thank you for joining me for uh, my video here. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Oh, one more thing before you go. I like to mention that you should also, if you want to learn more, come to WordCamp Nashville. It's coming. This is my countdown clock. I'll put this in the footer too to show you how long. I think you should get your tickets now because it is going to be sold out. This is a big event. It's the biggest WordCamp event all year. It's the WordCamp US event. It's in December, December 1st through 3rd. And of course, I have a countdown clock that shows you what it is. All right, thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great day.